Hey everyone, this is Lily Santoya, um, and we're going to do the classic rainbow mask. It's going to be a little different and updated version quite a bit. And the Mario face painting. So this is sister and brother. Um, so they're <laughs> so much fun, these kiddos. So we're going to start off with a Wicked Art sponge. And I make my own rainbow split. It's like my most very favorite rainbow. It's like they're neon colors from Mayron Paradise. But I don't know. I just I love this combination. And I do neon. But they have different names. It's like intergalactic and celestial i think is the blue i can't remember but they have different names but it's mayron paradise and i love it because it's such a soft uh face paint you know such a soft makeup and uh i definitely get compliments even from the moms you know that it's easy to take off um you know i definitely love getting those that feedback so anyway <clears throat> we're gonna create these um butterfly wings here just create that shape and I use the tip of that Wicked Art sponge to do the eyeshadow first of course and then create those triangle shapes with the sponge itself which makes it super easy there we go next up is getting my uh, most favorite brush of course the Lowell Cornell round number three and we're gonna load it with white I believe the one I have here is diamond FX I think I got it like on sale or something, I forget, but um, Diamond FX is really good for line work. Um, and I know some people say it gets goopy in the summer and it can get goopy. It's only gonna get goopy if you put too much water. So what I typically do is just dip my brush into the water, the bristles, and then swirl it inside the paint. That way I'm only getting the paint that I need I'm not like soaking the entire cake in water. So that's definitely gonna make your paint goopy. So just a little tip there. <clears throat> so we're going around the eyes, creating that like very Mardi Gras look. We're gonna do the other side. And this is why it's so important to practice your line work. Um, it, you know, becomes so much more beautiful, you know, the more you practice and the more you perfect it. So. Here, I feel I'm going pretty slow, but um, on the job, everybody, you know, everybody's like, man, I just turned around and she's done. So <laughs> this little girl's super still. She did so amazing for me. There we go. And then we'll do the other side. And for the teardrops, I do both methods. Uh, Ronnie, you know, Ronnie Mena, when I took his class in Dallas, I believe it was so many years ago, but he said, you know, stop doing the teardrops thick to thin. Don't do that. And so um, with that encouragement, you know, I, I taught myself uh, just practice, practice, practice and did it the reverse teardrop. And it looks so much more elegant. It really does. So it doesn't take much to learn. You just got to put in the practice. So here I put a bling gem. These I make at home. I love them. Parents love them and little girls, they go crazy for them. So then we add some of this glitter. I super forgot. I think it's, oh my goodness. I think it's a fusion palette. I forget, but it's super. It, I love the iridescent because it goes with everything. And now we'll go ahead and get her reaction. Oh my goodness, I love her reaction. I love it. <laughs> Super cute. Thank you. And Thank this is you a sticker. So, so when you're done, just take it off and you can put it on the notebook. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, perfect. I think I heard it. There's Mario, there's dinosaurs. I love Mario. Have a seat. Yes. Alrighty, so Mario, he decided on, and um, this is actually pretty popular. Um, and once, you know, once the boys see one, then they come up, you know, and another boy wants it, another boy wants it. So it's kind of like a monkey see, monkey do thing. It's pretty neat. So you're going to start off with a round circle right above the eyebrows. And 
I used a round number five for that. And then I'm using a round number five Mark Reed brush um, to go around and use for red. This is specifically my brush, my go-to brush for red. <laughs> it's so great. It covers large areas uh, very, very easily, holds the paint really well. Like Mark Reed brushes are like so unmatched. They're so awesome to have. All right, so you just fill it in and it's basically like, you know, you're you're kind of imitating that that cap, but in like a 2D form. So it's, you know, it's cute and everybody can tell what it is. So go ahead and just fill this shape right here. There we go. Gonna try to make that circle more perfect, of course. Grab your round number three with black. Go ahead and put an M in the middle. There we go. And he sat pretty still for me too, even though he's a little one. Um, he did really, really well. And we'll do the other side. And I didn't go really, really heavy on the eyebrows or the mustache. I tried to go light, um, even though of course I want to do more dramatic Mario, but I feel like the moms kind of, you know, appreciate that there's not a whole ton of black you know, all over their eyebrows and all over their top lips. So <laughs> I tried to, um, you know, um, not do it so dramatic. All right, here we go. We're going to, and sometimes I forget the eyebrows. I don't know why, but all right, here we go. One, two, three big teardrops. And we'll do the other side. One, two, three. All right, let's see his reaction. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Sorry guys, I forgot to mention the red I used is Mayron Red and the black is a DFX Black. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next one.